what's up guys i am back with another video hey y'all hey hope all is well hope you guys are doing great thank you all for commenting liking sharing my videos thank you to all my new subscribers hello you guys and i'm going to be doing some lifestyle videos as well as reviews i feel like i do a lot of reviews on this channel but i also am interested in other stuff so i'm going to show you guys this simple and easy breakfast smoothie that i on Yumly, I think that's what it's called, but I also added other things to accommodate my current lifestyle. So this is also good if you are breastfeeding as well because in this recipe I do add flax seeds. So anyways, so to kick this thing off, I start off with a cup of almond milk. Then I do about two cups of fresh spinach. Then I go ahead and add in about a fourth of a banana. This recipe calls for a whole banana, but these bananas were very, very big. So I just went ahead and pretty much used, not a fourth, but I used a little bit over a half of this banana. And then the other half, I just mashed up and gave it to my daughter. I used one tablespoon of peanut butter. And then I kind of eyeballed the honey because I feel like you add a little bit more honey Mm, you know it, it makes it taste a little bit better and then the additional products that I add in I go ahead and I add in two fourths uh, tablespoons of chai seeds and flax seeds um, that's pretty much the that's one of the two additional things that I do like to add just because I am breastfeeding flax seeds do help with breast milk production along with like oatmeal and things of that nature. There's a lot of different remedies, but I am still breastfeeding, so I love to add that in here. And then I use this plant protein. It's a pea and quinoa protein powder. That's just to hold me over for a little bit longer. This actually says if you use three scoops, it's 90 calories. I actually only used one because I already had some protein in there. So this was just an additional little mm. I also throw in some collagen powder it says for one scoop it's 25 calories and so I'm a huge huge collagen person I love it because it's great on my skin so I do like to implement it in the shakes or and I added three teaspoons of water just to kind of loosen it up I don't I don't like really thick uh, smoothies so I wanted it as loose as possible without being on the watery side and I blended it up. So this smoothie definitely comes out tasting more or less like banana and peanut butter because those are the two strongest ingredients in this smoothie, but overall it's pretty darn good. So hope you guys enjoy it. Comment down below, let me know what kind of smoothies you guys like to make and I might try them. But anyways, until next time y'all, bye.